There's our Wrangler. Anybody by themselves? Anybody on by themselves? Two, any two? Go start at about mid 20s and range up to about mid 30s base price. And it comes with up. The 300 horsepower almost? It has uh, 285 horses and 260 foot pounds of torque. It's good. Pentastar 3.6 liter V6. Smile for me, you guys. Ready? 3, 2, 1. We're going to test out a couple things. I make uh, the Jeep Wrangler with. Sure. Drain plugs underneath the carpet as well. Oh, so you can get this thing wet. Seven speaker infinity sound system with the subwoofer in the back. You got the four wheel drive on? Correct. Yeah. That's a all locking hub, center, front, back? No, this doesn't have the axle locks. That'd be like in the Rubicon or the Polar Edition has rear locker. Wow. 10 inches of ground clearance with skid plates underneath the transfer case, fuel tank. Cool. Watch your heads as we go over maneuverability, you guys. Bump you as far as all right. There we go, you're narrating now. Uh, I'm narrowed. I'm exactly what I'm going to do. Ah, they give you guys you life yeah, life. actually, this isn't that bad. Full electric. Yep. You're sitting on top of the battery. Uh, this car actually, in terms of uh, multimedia and everything like that, this car um, has no AM radio or CD player, uh, USB port which you can connect with your music. Um, phasing out AM, huh? What? Starts with you guys phasing out AM? Phasing out of AM, exactly. Hey, we, when we say AM is dead, we say AM. No more 1010 wins. No more 1010 wins, which actually disappoints me. That's I a big station. Like, AM660? It yeah. is. And um, what did the match just move to? Didn't they move to like H20? It doesn't matter. It's still going to lose. And, I mean, that is true, yeah. TGS ought to have a little closer. Well, it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, inside here, I know. It's a little it's difficult to pick up. It's a little difficult to pick up. It's a little difficult to pick up. I know, I know. know. But. <laughs> Ah, well then, sir, you gotta tell me. You could at least get the right content. That's true. Yeah, right. Well, we're gonna head to Africa anyway, and it's there. one second. <laughs> and one charge? <laughs> one charge, exactly. Skinny tire. Skinny tire, yes. Yeah, this car's got some great horsepower, though. Uh, zero to 60 in about seven seconds. Uh, top speed of 93 miles an hour. Uh, it has 170 horsepower. 
It also has what's called regenerative braking, and what that means is that I'm just going to lift my foot off of the accelerator, just like this, and the car is actually going to come to a complete stop. Uh, so I just can move it forward with the accelerator, pull it off, and the car is going to come to a complete stop. And that actually improves upon the charge uh, and sort of... Uh, the performance of the battery it doesn't actually add mileage but what it will do is that if you're going 30 miles and stop and start traffic uh, and it takes you about two and a half hours that 30 miles is still going to be 30 miles regardless of how quickly or how long it takes you um, how about if you're on a hill uh, I believe it's still the same performance as a hill. Really, the only thing that affects. I mean, the like charge, you stopped on a hill, like you're in traffic going up a bridge. Right? Oh, um, I mean, the brakes. I mean, you'll you'll feel the brakes lock, um, and uh, you might need to maybe like hold on to the acceleration pedal just for a bit. But mm -hmm. in terms of being able to manage itself on a hill, it's still going to be the same performance. Um, range of the car is going to be 80 to 100 miles. All right. And that will take about three and a half hours on that level two charger. Um, you also have the option of adding a range extender, which uh, is a two-cylinder gasoline-powered generator that sits in the front of the car, and that will add an additional 80 to 100 miles to the uh, range of the car. So if it's completely dead, add gas, off you go. Uh, exactly, and that generator will power the battery, so it's never actually running off of any gasoline. It's always running off of the electric battery. Okay. All right, any other questions? This is nice. Alpina B6, twin turbo V8. BMWs, nice cars. Look at that. That's neat. It's got like a depth. It's like a see-through screen. That's really cool. Look at the tires.
Look at that, it's a Jaguar, look at that. Yeah. I don't know about that grill. Looks like a Volvo, don't it? Or Mitsubishi has a grill like that. Actually looks like an Evo 10 grill, look that up. I like the insignia uh, though. Oh, the cat, just the cat? Ooh, F type. Sporty, it's not. Careful. Turbocharged four cylinder. I like the wheels. I have to make up my mind about the mirrors. Come on, sir. Here's the Ghibli. Terrible name, great car. We took one of those up to Boston too. It's a twin turbo six Maserati. It's it's pretty damn good. It has a great exhaust note to it. It's the Gran Turismo C. Look at this color. This is a great color. The Ghibli. Worst name ever. Why they bring the color inside? Yeah, these are nice and they're fun. Uh, they, they're quick. push a button on the dashboard and the door closes? It'll have to be. Right? You have to lean out like a peasant, Dad. It closes itself. I like the drop head. It's so nice. 550,000. Nice car. Yep. And it comes with an umbrella in the door. What? They have umbrellas in the door just in case. It's a challenger that one we were looking at. Yeah. Oh wow, the nine one eight spider. Now that's it. That's one of those um, two hundred horsepower electric. 800 horsepower motor, all-wheel drive. Look at that car. But you can't get used to a four-door Porsche. Good idea. 
Hey, that's the one you want. 911 Turbo S. All right. Oh yeah. But you know. Look at those lights. Got Bahamas written all over this car, isn't it? That color. Let's see the new Lamborghini. Because you're looking at them. This is probably right now the fastest production car you can buy. The Ajera. I wish I could show you how those doors open. But they, they roll forward. You pop them and then they roll forward. Yeah. Not like a Lamborghini. No, they, it's weird. That the Ajera R, the owner of our company on Gotham Dream Cars, Rob, actually went to Sweden to test drive it. It's ridiculous. It was like 1,300 horsepower and it weighs 3,100 pounds. Can you show the door pop? Can you show the door working? Can you show the door working? I figure since you're playing on the wing, why not, right? Watch how this door opens. That's the coolest door in the business. What do you think of that? I think that's better than Lamborghini. Yeah. And again, you got the dash. There's a button on the dash to close it. I never saw a key like that. Hmm? I never saw one like that. Yeah, trade you. What's that thing? Do you have? You don't have to aim it. Just, just. Oh, you can put a screen on the back of that. I just didn't bring it. It's a wide-angle fisheye lens, so you don't. You just point it and go. It's easy. Well, ah, hundred bucks. HD, 1080p. You know, this I like. Though. I didn't know they made a convertible. Was this like third? How much power is this? Over a thousand? Eleven fifty. Thought well, they made a the front. See how the roof line is done? They made the semicircle up there. Very nice. And it's a Ford block, right? Don't they put a Ford V8 just to block? Isn't it? It used to be. It used to be. Yeah. So this is the. It's smaller than I thought it would be. I remember. I thought they'd be bigger. Sorry. You just one more look at this car. This thing's nuts. That is the car of the show, over a Bugatti Veyron. So nice. So this is a really nice little feature that we're introducing into our vehicles now. You can certainly go to backyard.com, find out more information on the new TLX. Again, released for later this year. We don't have a price point on it. We're assuming it's going to be a mid-30 to about 40 inch in there. Um, don't. Not right here, hydrogen tank. Yeah, that's where water I don't think so. I think you actually got to buy hydrogen. I don't think so. No. 
Quint, how do you put it in? No, you just put the water in. That's what holds it. That's from the water. The water in. And then electrolysis, and you spurn the hydrogen, then you then your exhaust would be oxygen. Now it's a car that runs on water, Dad. Don't you think it would change the planet? It's, technology isn't there yet. The problem that they have is a number of problems. And one of the problems is hydrogen is explosive. Yes, it is. So you, you can't make too much of it up front. Although you don't want to carry around a whole lot of hydrogen in your tank. You only want to make just enough that you need. I hope so. Sports car from the Toyota lineup. This is a concept, so we don't know if they're actually going to build it, but what this represents, this is a pace car for evolution with Toyota. Toyota is showing you what direction they're heading in. This is their commitment to new exciting designs. So the CEO of Toyota, Mr. Akio Toyota himself, is a race enthusiast, and what you're seeing here is Toyota's commitment to bringing you exciting vehicles emotional vehicles. They want you to be excited about the cars. They want you to they want you to want them. They want you to get excited. They have they use the expression waku doki. That means heart pounding, heart racing excitement. Would you say they created some excitement in this design? I'm glad you agree. Yeah this is a beautiful new concept with the FT1 for cooling for aerodynamics. It even has a functional rear spoiler. With, with the dual struts that raises at higher speeds to give you more downforce. But take a look at those beautiful jewel-like headlights. And also take a look at the glass door on the hood. So the engine, as you know, is the heart and the soul of any vehicle. And when people see a vehicle like this, they want to know what's under the hood. So the designers put a glass window on the hood to see inside. We don't know what engine they would use that they built it, but they have mentioned that we have six cylinder additional combustion engine for rear wheel drive. But the design, you know, the design um, is a good inspiration. It's not easy to have to be. So you're going to have to be very careful with the reading of the formula. It's a tribute to the super, the FRS, the design, the LS. Awesome job.